I know you've heard that you should get a VPN over and over again, and there's a reason for that. It's absolutely true. It will keep you safe and anonymous online. That's especially important for me with the type of stuff I search for and read while making my videos. But there are a million reasons to get a VPN, whether it's to protect you from hackers, or to stop companies, websites, advertisers, and your ISP from tracking what websites you visit and what you're buying online. When looking for a VPN, you want to make sure you get the best, with all the features available. They are not all equal, and the best out there is NordVPN, and that's why I contacted them for this video. It's the VPN I use, and has every feature you could possibly want. They have over 4,800 servers in 62 countries that you can connect to. They do not log your data, which is important, and the company is actually registered in Panama. Peer-to-peer -peer sharing is allowed, has unlimited bandwidth, double data encryption, up to six simultaneous connections, a Google Chrome extension, Onion over VPN servers, just to name a few. It even works in countries like China, which is known for their so-called Great Chinese Firewall, also in Middle Eastern countries as well. But you don't have to take my word for it. They are always highly recommended by technology experts, and the only VPN to get all green check marks by PC Mag. So there is no doubt that you'll be getting the best with Nord. So the only real issue is price. Well, if you use my link here, you'll get 66% off. Not 10% or 20%. 66%. I know when I was looking for a VPN, price was a consideration. Just another expense I'd have every month. But with 66% off, that is more than affordable. They also offer a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you don't like them, you can cancel and get your money back. I put the link down in the description, so make sure you use it to get that 66% off. And so they know I sent you. Or you can just use a coupon code Covert Cabal, No space. Again, that is NordVPN. With the U.S. war on terrorism, America found itself fighting an enemy not limited to a single country. Instead, their enemy was spread out across the globe. First in Afghanistan, then Iraq, Pakistan, Libya, Yemen, Mali, Somalia, the Philippines, and many more. While the U.S. military has bases across the earth, they built numerous smaller, secret bases to avoid attention and political issues that might arise. Most of these bases operate UAVs, or drones, that are unmanned. They are preferable as in the past, losing a pilot in an area that you are not supposed to be in has caused problems. For example, the famous case of Francis Gary Powers with his U-2 spy plane being shot down over the Soviet Union. The advancement in drone technology over the years has led to a major increase in their use, especially in the war on terror. Many of their benefits over manned aircraft are obvious. No pilot to worry about, less expensive, and also, they typically have longer ranges than manned aircraft. The F-16, for example, has a strike radius somewhere around 600 to 800 kilometers, depending on its payload, whereas the Predator has a strike radius of around 1,500 kilometers, and the Reaper about 2,500 kilometers. They also don't suffer from fatigue, whereas pilots need to rest, Drones can stay airborne for much longer. The Global Hawk, for example, can stay airborne for over 30 hours. They are also much more difficult to detect due to their smaller size, sometimes even with stealth features. In fact, in 2013, India, where tensions with their neighbor Pakistan have always been high, scrambled fighter aircraft to intercept what they thought were drones in Indian airspace near the border. After a few weeks of attempted intercepts, the aircraft finally established visual contact. They discovered that it was simply a flock of birds that were migrating. What this story indicates is that drones and birds can appear on radar to have similar attributes, making the two difficult to distinguish. They have some downfalls though, compared to manned aircraft. One is their slower speed. They typically fly somewhere between 100 and 300 kilometers per hour, whereas manned strike aircraft cruise somewhere around 800 kilometers per hour with the ability to fly much faster if necessary. Another major issue is communications. Controlling the drone requires constantly being in communication with it. If you lose connection for whatever reason, whether it be due to technical problems or weather, you lose all ability to control it. Now some newer UAVs are able to perform some tasks autonomously. This can also present an issue itself, hacking. In 2011, Iran was able to jam a CIA-operated RQ-170 stealth reconnaissance drone and bring it down relatively intact and capture it. 
This is something that would never happen if there was a pilot on board. The two most popular armed drones of the US are the MQ-1 Predator, which was actually just retired, and the MQ-9 Reaper. The Reaper is the newer, larger UAV that is faster, has a longer range, and a larger payload capacity. Now just a disclaimer, this is by no means a comprehensive list. Also, all the information is publicly available, none of it is classified. And when I use the word secret, I'm referring to bases which are either not publicly recognized by the US government, or their existence is simply kept quiet. Many many bases exist, far too many to discuss them all here, and they are spread out across the Eastern Hemisphere, in countries like Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, Djibouti, Kuwait, Chad, Cameroon, Niger, Pakistan, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, and many more. One of the most popular when its existence first became publicly known is deep in the desert of Saudi Arabia, far far away from any populated area, and near the border with Yemen. If you don't know, Yemen has been engaged in a civil war against the Houthi. The base is believed to be an operations center for drone strikes against them. Base construction began in 2010. Wired reported that the Washington Post and the New York Times became aware of the base and its location, but had an informal agreement with the Obama administration to keep its location secret as publishing it could, quote, jeopardize national security. Later, both outlets did eventually write about the base, and its location became available for anyone to see, first on Bing Maps. Another one very recently discovered is the CIA drone base in the desert of Niger. The base is so new that Google Earth does not yet have an image of it. Construction of the base began in March, and appears to have been completed by July or August of 2018. The image shown here is from when it was still a small civilian airport. According to the New York Times, while the CIA spokesperson refused to comment, a security official from Niger claimed US drones from the base were involved in an airstrike on targets in southern Libya. Like the base in Saudi Arabia, it is located way out in a sparsely populated area, likely to avoid attention. Africa in general has seen a large number of US military bases pop up in recent years. This declassified image shows dozens of bases throughout Africa. Other bases that are not necessarily secret themselves, but have secretly operated drones, include Kandahar in Afghanistan. The base serves as a major US and allies base of operations in the south in the fight against the Taliban. However, the base also quietly operated drones, both by the US Air Force and the CIA. In fact, the RQ-170 that landed in Iran in 2011 operated from here. The drones operated out of the northeast part of the base. Interestingly enough, Google Maps only provides a relatively recent image of the western part of the base with the eastern section imagery dated from much, much earlier, before the drone facilities were built. Other images of the base do show these facilities though, including big maps, actually. The bases of Bagram and Jalalabad in Afghanistan are similar. While not secret themselves, they have operated CIA drones against targets in the country and in neighboring Pakistan. Not all secret bases operate drones. Another secret of base the US operates is in northern Syria, in 2016, the US began building an airbase near the Syrian village of Sabit. Very, very little has been publicly discussed on the airbase, but some images and video of cargo aircraft operating at the base can be found online. The base is believed to have been built to support the Battle of Raqqa against ISIS in 2017. However, in imagery I'm unfortunately not allowed to show due to the copyright laws, the base has continued to expand in the past several months despite the battle for Raqqa ending in 2017. And this is not the only airbase in Syria operated by the US. There are several others spread across northern, eastern, and southeast Syria. These are just a few of the many airbases operated by the US military and CIA that are kept quiet. I find this topic quite interesting. During the Cold War, and even in the 90s and early 2000s, most of these bases would be completely unknown by anyone unless they were there and stumbled across them. Today, with the availability of satellite imagery and the internet, it is almost impossible to keep bases like these secret. Anyone with a computer, the internet, and free time can find them.